My name's Connie Wolf, and I live in San Francisco in the Glen Park neighborhood, and I am the director of the Contemporary Jewish Museum. The one thing that really is a thread that runs through everything is my interest in the arts and my interest in education and how those two intersect and understanding the importance of the art and why art really does create a certain kind of value in life and a certain way of connecting. When you sometimes are working with um, an older population, um, they're still not that comfortable. They don't know how to um, address you. They don't know what to do if you, or even how to ask if you have a partner. Um, so sometimes I encounter um, ignorance that could be interpreted as homophobia. I have been incredibly fortunate in my life and in my career to have extraordinary mentors who have really looked at me and seen potential and has give, have given me opportunity and who have recognized certain things in me that I haven't seen for myself. So when I look at my um, current work at the Contemporary Jewish Museum and there are so many young people in that office, I hope that when I'm working with them that I can teach them that I'm just not telling them what to do, but I'm helping them discover who they are in the way that people help me discover who I am. When I think about DOT 429, I'm so proud to be part of it, but I'm excited about exploring the website and learning about all these people all over the country and discovering their stories, learning about what accomplishments they've made, challenges they've overcome, and the goals they have for their own lives and thinking about ways in which I can connect to them or connect people I know to them because in the end that's what matters is making those connections and having those relationships. Over the last year and a half after the Contemporary Jewish Museum opened its new facility in downtown San Francisco many people have looked at me as a symbol of success. Um, has said, oh, you've been so successful, you've created this building, it's, it's, it's successful, you're successful. And it's a word that I don't ever use for myself. I feel like I have made progress, I have um, made a difference, but that success is something that I hope I can reflect on when I'm much older and looking back at my career. But until then, there's so much more to do that success feels almost stagnant and I feel like the trajectory has to be of motion and movement and making a difference.